In this week's Pass the Epi Exam video, I'm going to give you a refresher on how to answer vertical curve questions for your civil engineering transportation exam. But first, let me remind you that the Epi Exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. So let's dive into this week's vertical curve problem. This sample problem has been provided to us by Prep FE. Prep FE is one of the most effective FE exam self-study prep services out there and happens to be one of the most affordable too. Prep FE is an app that gives you access to countless sample FE problems to bolster your self-study efforts. You can visit prepfe.com forward slash redeem and use the discount code in the description of this video to receive 10% off and get some great FE practice problems. All right, so here's the problem. A vertical curve connects a 3% downslope with a 2.5% upslope. What is most nearly the minimum curve length required to meet Ashto's headlight sight distance requirements? Assume stopping sight distance is 750 feet. And here are your answers. First of all, right off the bat, I always look for answers that have a big discrepancy from the other answers. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't the answer, but sometimes these are put in there to kind of throw you off, so just be aware of that. So let's jump into the solution here. What we're going to need to do is utilize the table entitled Sight Distance Related to Curve Length in the Transportation Section in the Civil Engineering Reference Chapter of the FE Reference Handbook. We must determine that length that was asked for when the stopping sight distance is less than and equal to the length and when it's greater than the length. And the reason for this is because we don't know which scenario it's going to be in, so we have to do kind of a trial. And I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. But before we do that, a couple of things to note that are really important. The FE Reference Handbook refers to stopping sight distance as both S and also sometimes as SSD. This can cause confusion, so please keep that in mind. Again, S or SSD. I also want to just give you a visual of what this looks like, because I think visuals are important in trying to solve these types of problems, and I actually recommend that you sketch it out yourself on paper during the exam, just to, you know, again, see what it looks like. This is just an image that we took from the Washington State DOT manual, just to, again, give you that visual, but it is important, I think, to visualize it before jumping into these problems. All right, so first, let's solve it when the sight distance is greater than the length for sag vertical curves. This is the equation you would use for the headlight criteria in that scenario. Now, something important to note here, A and G, or A, A, and G, G, in vertical curves equations, use percent units. You see them there, the 2.5 and, and the 3. You do not divide them by 100 and put the decimals into these equations. That'll, that could give you one of those off answers that we talked about earlier. So you have to put them in as the percentages. That's really, really important. So I just want you to be aware of that. But once you know that, you just literally plug in and you come up with an answer. And the answer that you come up with here is 950. And then you have to see if the stopping sight distance is greater than the length. In this case, it is not, right? Because they gave you 750 and you solved 950. So the condition is not true. We have to reject that. And then we have to check the other scenario, right? S being less than or equal to L for sag vertical curves, you're going to use the equation that you see here. Again, make sure you've got the A properly figured out and calculated, and you're going to put it in. You're going to get 1,022.73. Do a check on this. In this case, the stopping sight distance that was given of 750 is less than the length that you calculated. Therefore, it's true, and you accept that as your answer. So it's a pretty simple problem. However, you need to make sure you have your percentages right, like I mentioned in the A and G terms. You also have to not get confused between S and SSD, which they can both be called in the manual. 
So remember those, both of those items, because if you do, these should be, for the most part, plug and chug on these problems. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problems, weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.